Today, I want to talk about how a number of banks, hedge funds and their offices have been raided in a short seller investigation. I also want to talk about how the global property collapse is causing a massive problem for the banks and how this is already leading to squeezes around the stock market. So stay tuned and let's make some money. Also guys, the Valentine's sale at the MMTG ends this Sunday. So this is your final chance to get $100 off the price of the lifetime membership or four weeks for the price of three on the monthly memberships. I won't be doing another sale for another two months and by then the prices will have increased. So this is your final chance to lock in the current prices with a discount. And now I'll dive straight in with the key information. So, you can see from this article, it says that prosecutors have raided HSBC and BNP Paribas offices in a short seller investigation. This article was also dated 15th of February 2024, so yesterday. So it says prosecutors investigating illegal short selling allegations against foreign investment banks raided the sole offices of BNP Paribas Securities, HSBC and HSB Korea on Thursday. And they've also launched a combined mandatory criminal investigation against the investment firms. And it says this latest development follows the financial authority's decision to slap BNP Paribas and HSBC with combined fines of 26 billion won, or nearly 200 million dollars. So it seems Korea has taken this probe one step further, not just going with the SEC equivalent of an investigation where they issue fines, but now to a criminal investigation. And they're even raiding offices to obtain solid proof to actually imprison these criminals. I've said it before and I say it again, this is exactly what the US needs to do as well. Now on top of that, Biggums has also tweeted about the commercial property loans coming due in the US, which have just jumped to $929 billion. So obviously by now, you know there's a commercial property crisis. As a result of the pandemic and the work from home movement, many of these commercial properties are worth significantly less. That's led to a skyrocketing default rate and obviously a plummeting value in these properties. But what that also means is that many borrowers are obviously defaulting on these loans, causing massive losses for the lenders. And it seems the total amount of loans coming due likely with defaults in sight is now nearly to a trillion dollars. And banks hold the largest share of these loans at 441 billion, but that also means that somebody else out there owns half a trillion dollars in these dodgy loans, which is hedge funds. Now that's just over in the US, but let's also talk about in Germany as well, because a German bank says it's preparing for the worst property crisis since 2008, as the commercial real estate distress spreads. So Frank's Place tweet is saying this German bank says that it's got enough cash and assets to withstand the turmoil and that it can operate for at least maybe six months without fresh funding from investors. Now that was exactly what Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank and First Republic Bank said earlier last year. And obviously we all know how it worked out for them. And which bank is this German bank? Well, it's Deutsche Bank AG. Shares of the German bank have declined about 25% so far year to date, and Peruvian bull has just touched on the credit default swaps, but let's carry on with the tweet from Frank. As he said, signs of the commercial real estate distress continue to mount, with the latest warning coming from the German lending giant Deutsche Bank. So as I said, Peruvian bull has also touched on the credit default swaps on the three-year bond issued by Deutsche Bank. So obviously these credit default swaps pushed up in early 2023 but then pulled back for the remainder of the year but have since skyrocketed from 200 points already up to 555 points in the last week or two. Now when a credit default swap skyrockets just like this it means many investors out there are worried about an imminent collapse. These are very similar credit default swaps to what Michael Burry was buying back in 2008 and waiting for the prices of these swaps to be marked up. Now you remember back in 2008 the prices of his swaps weren't marked up until other banks had also secured a net long position on these swaps. But what we're seeing now is the value of these swaps in Deutsche Bank starting to skyrocket as Deutsche Bank edges closer and closer to a complete collapse. 
I also wanted to go through today's fast moving momentum news play, but first I wanted to go through this testimonial from Spotty Swing. So Spotty Swing made another $710 today, bringing his weekly profits to $4,140, beating last week's profits of $4,080. So Spotty Swing has made over $8,000 in the last two weeks. Today's fast moving momentum news play was on HTOO, which got the break of $3.41 and ran for another 40%. Freak Deline actually locked in nearly 50% gains, buying at $3.18 per share and selling at $4.53. So guys, be sure to use code VALENTINES at the checkout for your last chance to get $100 off the price of the lifetime membership or four weeks for the price of three on the monthly memberships. There's also this article that says it's official. The regional banks are in trouble. This is exactly what I've been touching on in my previous few videos, which I've been called a shill for in the comments, but apparently it's now official that I'm right. It says right now the regional banks are fighting a lot of fires. High interest rates eat into their margins. High interest rates keep their loan business down. And remember there's $929 billion in commercial loan paper coming due in 2024 that will need to be refinanced at higher rates or the loans default upon. Especially as we're approaching a seasonally risky period for the regional banks. And as it stands, there's rising fundamental risk in the group. Now, so we've spoken about the US market, we've spoken about the German market, but also let's talk about China, as Evergrande's liquidation is unraveling a complex saga in the Chinese property market too. Now, this tweet from Frank's Place basically explains the difficulties that the courts are currently having with liquidating Evergrande. Basically saying the current liquidation order impacts just the property currently based in Hong Kong and not mainland China. It basically expects even more losses to be suffered as a result of the liquidation and how that could also impact other sectors in China too, like the Chinese banking sector. So it seems property markets pretty much worldwide are being tormented, which obviously impacts massively on those banks. And this is exactly why we will be seeing more bank collapses through 2024. And ultimately, as more and more banks collapse and as that causes more and more panic in the markets, it will impact the stock market too, causing a crash. And then finally for today, suspended POS has also given us the perfect definition of a fraudulent Wall Street pump and dump or liquidity grab. He's tweeted saying, why does it feel like the shorts are super desperate for money? And he said effectively, maybe it's because the biggest shorted two stocks in the history of Wall Street, AMC and GameStop, are to start a new bull cycle soon. So if you haven't seen so far this year, SMCI, one of the large AI companies, has ran from $300 per share back in January, already now to over $1,000 in the after hours today. As you can see from this chart, this isn't a small cap stock, this isn't a crypto, this isn't a crazy meme stock experiencing a squeeze, this is likely a Wall Street pump and dump. This is pure insanity and literally the definition of a complete vertical straight up movement on a company worth tens of billions of dollars. The Cabessi letter also added saying this is absolutely insane. The daily RSI on SMCI just closed the day at 97 out of 100 as the stock pushed above a record $1,000 per share saying there's only one company in history that's managed to mark a daily close with a daily RSI above $97. Saying it was GameStop back on January 27th, 2021, the day before the stock peaked in the meme stock rally. Now the Cabessa letter isn't saying that SMCI and GameStop are the same thing because they're two completely different stocks. One was starting to experience a short squeeze before the buy button was wrongly turned off, and SMCI is a Wall Street pump and dump. But it just shows just how desperate for liquidity they are right now with SMCI having to pump it up to a daily RSI of 97 out of 100. Saying SMCI has not had a single down day since February 2nd and is now up 252% so far in 2024. Again, look at just how ridiculous this daily chart actually looks, literally going straight up vertical. This to me really shows just how desperate these Wall Street crooks are to stay afloat. 
So guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.